Hello everyone, welcome to the lesson Linear Programming KCC 2003 Paper 2 Question number 12. The question reads, a mixed school can accommodate a maximum of 440 students. The number of girls must be at least 120, while the number of boys must exceed 150, taking X to represent the number of boys and Y to represent the number of girls. Write down all the inequalities representing the information above. So that is the question. Let us go straight to formation of the inequalities. Now, we given already that uh, X should represent the number of boys and Y to represent the number of girls. So the first statement, the school can accommodate a maximum of 440 students. So these 440 students are made up of boys and girls. So that means a maximum the maximum of 440 students means that when I take the number of boys I add to the number of girls, that number should be less than or equal to 440. That is what we mean by maximum. It should not be more than 440. So the inequality that shall perform here should be x plus y. That is the total. Or the number of boys plus number of girls should be less than or equal to 440 so that is um how we're supposed to form the first inequality now let's go to the second one and uh, the second one we are supposed to let me go to the statement the number of girls must be at least 120 the number of girls must be at least 120 number of girls at least at least so what do we mean by at least 120 it means 120 or more that is greater than or equal to 120 so at least 120 girls means the girls are all in the boy should be greater than or equal to 120 so that is uh, how we're supposed to do that then the other statement, the boys must exceed 150. The boys must exceed 150. So what do you mean by must exceed? Must exceed means that it should be more, more than 150. Boys are X, so they should be greater than, that is must exceed, must be more than 150. And that is um, simply how you're supposed to form the three inequalities by just going through the statements carefully and forming all the inequalities. There are supposed to be three inequalities, so you get a mark for these. You'll get a mark for the first one here. Then there's a mark for these, and there's a mark for these. So you get three marks in total. And that is... Um, how you're supposed to solve that. Thank you so much.